morning and welcome back to another video juice by my side because juice by your side today i'm eating a peanut butter and banana sandwich today is november 20th i think I just want to get on and vlog a day in my life i'm working today also I'm really excited because i'm part of a choir group at my church and that's also coming up for december so I'm really excited about that. Just learning new songs, Christmas carols, and just like these beautiful songs. Um, so yeah, we're getting ready. We're two weeks out from our El Salvador mission trip. I'm so excited. We got a chance to make cards for some of the kids. I actually have one here. Oops. Feliz cumpleaños, Camila. I can't wait to bring you guys along. If you are new here, welcome. And I just like to talk about Jesus and what he's doing here in the local community you know in my family or at work but also in the nations so thank you you're here i hope you have a blessed day i'll see you guys hello and welcome back to another video jesus by my side because jesus is by your side i'm in my car and today i just want to get on here and like share how thankful i am i just finished an orientation with an organization that has impacted my life now to be working a seasonal position with this organization <laughs> I was just sitting and I couldn't help but cry like obviously I held my tears in but every person that helps facilitate that comes together is a little part of the big work of the kingdom of God and I say little but truly it's it's a big work it's all the people who are just desiring to be the light and bring the good news to the nations it is a whole um body of christ that unites and does this i've really i guess been able to see god's hand in what i want to do long term which is missionary work god is giving me more tools and more instruments to be able to to do this able to bring and share the gospel alongside with everyone else who comes and does this mighty work and something beautiful that i've learned is like where there is disaster uh, god is near to the brokenhearted god is near to where there's destruction god is near where there is the orphan god is the nearest in those places and like to to be able to be a part a small part of that work of god through humanitarian aid and disaster relief be able to help people evangelize um in hostile areas in areas of destruction um in areas that maybe have and have not been reached because that was the truth of my first missionary trip you have a purpose uh god has gifted you special skills um even the way you are and in the unique way that he's made you and so he wants to bring that beauty that he's placing you to use it for his glory in different ways and that you've never known about the good news that jesus christ died on the cross for you and for me so we can be alive now through jesus christ's sacrifice and the gospel is being preached all over the world this is the heart of god i am not gonna lie i feel like i'm still in a season where i have open wounds that are bleeding out things that god is like saying i want you to see that this is an internal problem and i want to heal you from this and i get on my knees and i raise my hands i'm like i pray and i submit to your lordship god that any resistance will bow down. I desire more than anything to be Christ-like every day. And it's not easy. God needs to deal with the areas that I fall short and that I'm weak and, and all these things. And that's the truth and the reality of, of walking in Christ. They are, he, we're constantly being purified. But God is full of mercy and grace. He's a gracious God, sovereign God. He is a God who sees all and knows the deepest parts of our hearts like the good news is that god is there to help we are not exempt as believers from any suffering or pain and allow god to come into those areas and really de-root and deconstruct ways of thinking ways of acting to be more like christ -like. we'll see you guys next time on jesus by my side because he is by your side always forever forevermore bye